This is a really unique course in that uh, the the rules of the game are changing as we teach it. Uh, and uh, Jeff Garten and I really have to constantly um, uh, refresh our views and our insights on the basis of very fast moving developments uh, on, on the regulatory scene, on the political scene, on the policy scene, and in the shifts that are going on in the U.S markets, economy, and the global markets and uh, economy. So we've taught this course now uh, twice, and uh, we'll, we'll teach it again, uh, hopefully for an, a number of years, and I, I guarantee you one thing, that every time we teach it, it's gonna be different. Uh, and we're both of the view that as we get more and more distance away from the crisis of 08 and 09, that that will become less the main event uh, for the course and the, the shifts and changes in the broader global landscape will probably become more and more important. Uh, and, and so we, we've got to be you know, nimble and, and, and pretty creative in, in, in trying to modify our content in the context of this rapidly changing world uh, that we um, uh, live in. I've taught this course two years, but in both times with Stephen Roach. Stephen is, uh, um, my background is on Wall Street and Washington, and his is too, um, only he has been on Wall Street much longer than I have, and he is one of the great economists to come out of Wall Street with a huge amount of knowledge about the global arena and monetary policy and and the role that the Fed played and the role that international institutions play. So I think that his being part of this course makes it really, really unique. And we are able to play off one another. I may be more interested in, in regulatory issues, and he is more interested in capital flows. We're both very interested in the global dimension. So the first year, we didn't make it quite as global as the second year. Second year, I'd say half of the issues we we made uh, global. You know, we have we both have a, a wide range of relationships and allows us to set up these meetings with really interesting people. But not only to set up the meetings, but for the people that we're meeting to arrive at the meetings, kind of predisposed to being open and informative because you know they know him or they know me and, and, and they trust us that we are bringing students who are genuinely interested and students who feel this is, uh, this is important stuff. And so the discussions between the students and, and all the people that we uh, interview basically, and they were all interviews, there's no, pre the ground rules for all the meetings is that nobody can make a presentation. We start, I ask, I start, I ask three or four questions and then for every single meeting, there are at least five or six students who have to have prepared to ask questions. So they have had to do the research on the person and the issue. So they're very high quality discussions. And uh, Stephen's, Stephen's role here is absolutely critical. And I would say that he and I, it's, it's, it's sort of one and one making four, not, not two. As a, someone who's been on Wall Street for more than 30 years, 25 of which were the chief economist at uh, Morgan Stanley and one of the world's leading financial services firms, um, I, I've been actively involved in the markets, in the policy debate, uh, and with um, uh, corporations, multilateral institutions in many of the events and crises that we actually talk about from an academic point of view uh, in the course. So I have the advantage of, of having been on the inside of so many of these really um, extraordinary developments in world financial markets and in the world economy uh, over the last uh, 30 some odd years from the great inflation of the 70s where I was working at the Fed to the Asian financial crisis of the late 90s where I was heading up a, a global economic team scrambling to understand Asia uh, to um, uh, an executive uh, heading up uh, a large portion of Morgan Stanley's business 
uh, as uh, the, um, uh, the world lurched toward the, the great uh, crisis and recession of, of 08 and 09. So I've been on the inside, and uh, yet I've always maintained uh, the, um, uh, uh, the, the academic lens that I had when I uh, went to grad school and got a PhD in economics. So I, I've tried to blend the, the academics with uh, the view of a, a practitioner. And I think uh, that's a very important perspective to bring into the classroom at SOM.